welcome to Cooking with Bubbles. I'm Lisa. And I'm Rodney. Let's get started. Okay. All right, six twists of the cage. And I'm going to do one pull of the lid. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Ooh, I love that sound in the morning. Yes. <laughs> and I just love the sound of bubbles no matter what. So that's all good. Definitely. Okay. What are you drinking today, Lisa? Today I'm having a sparkling water. Very nice. Yeah, look how pretty. Are you putting anything in it? Yeah, I'm going to go straight up. It's a limon and cherry sparkling water. I'm putting some pomegranate in mine. Look at that. Ooh, one of my favorites. Mm. Right. Cheers. Clink. Clink. Mm. Oh my God. Yummy. Very refreshing. Minute. And something so different. Good. Well, here we are, Lisa, doing what we love to do, which is cook together and drink bubbles. Absolutely. So we invite everybody who's watching to grab your own glass of bubbles and enjoy the show. Sounds good. All right. So why are you in your kitchen and I'm in my kitchen? So, you know, a couple of years ago when COVID happened or started, it was just a way for us to still spend time together. And even though we're past a lot of that, it's still a great way if we can't be face to face to get together and cook and do the stuff that we love to do. Drink bubbles and cook. And what you don't love to do is clean up my kitchen after me. So that's Exactly. <laughs> Precisely. Well, good. Well, what are we making today, Lisa? So today we're going to make um, French toast that's stuffed with apples, basically. Okay. All right. Sound good? Yeah. What, I mean, what made you come up with this recipe? So I did an event over the past weekend. And that was one of the items that they had on their menu, only it wasn't stuffed with anything, it was flat, but really, really delicious. Um, I just had purchased some croissants because I thought I was going to make something different just to have some rolls in the house. Nice. And after seeing that produce, I'm like, that sounds really good. We can do that. We can so do that. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Yeah. It seems like a really simple recipe. We're just kind of winging it. We've not tested this before. We're just going to see how it goes. <laughs> Um, but essentially, it just has a few ingredients. It's got um, an eight ounce package of crescent rolls, which I think has eight in it. Um, a cup of diced apples. You can use whatever kind of apples you like. Teaspoon of sugar, two pinches of cinnamon, not one, two pinches of cinnamon. One egg, one tablespoon of milk, a teaspoon of butter cut into quarters, a tablespoon of butter cut into quarters. And then optional is half a cup of chopped nuts, whatever you like, walnuts, pecans. I'm using pecans Me too. and then maple syrup. That's it. And it's pretty simple. So um, it's, it's very simple, you know, and I know I see looking at your bowl there, you're using um, a green skinned apple and I'm using like a gala apple. So a little bit different. Yeah. I think you I, can use pretty much whatever kind of apple you like. Whatever um, kind of apple you want. And just a tip. Um, if you're prepping your apples in advance, just take a half of a lemon and squeeze the juice over the apples and it'll keep them from turning brown. Great tip. Awesome. All right. Well, first we're going to awesome. crack our egg for dramatic effect. <laughs> okay. <laughs> awesome. So where are we adding to this egg? So to this side, we're going to add a little bit of cinnamon. One of the pinches. And a little bit of milk. So it's like a tablespoon of milk. I didn't pre-measure my cinnamon because I kind of wanted to eyeball it. Yeah. And I do love cinnamon. Me too. So I'm going to put a little bit more than a pinch because I love Me too. Cinnamon. And I've got my tablespoon. Cinnamon. I'm going to whisk all that together. You know, it doesn't look like a ton of liquid, but... I think it'll be okay. We're just, you know, a handful of pieces of bread. Yeah, and I've never done this before with crescent rolls, but they, I'm, I'm guessing they're not going to soak up as much of the liquid as a piece of bread would. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, ready? All right, I'm all whisked up. Oh, okay. When I took the label off of my uh, crescent rolls, it popped for me. So. Pop. <laughs> pop, pop, pop. It's ready to go. All right, I'm going to find the end of mine. There it is. 
my counter is clean. So I'm just going to lay this on the counter for now. So basically, we're just taking each one of these eight triangles. And we're going to dredge it through our mix, our egg mixture. And we're going to lay it out. We're going to just do one at a time here just to show. We're going to lay it out on a cookie sheet that I put parchment paper on. I think you have two. I did the same. And then we're going to take... I'm going to use a fork to get this back out of the bowl. <laughs> yeah. And so when, once we do that, we're going to take our, our apples and we're going to put our teaspoon of sugar in, tablespoon of sugar, sorry, and more cinnamon. And once we put our first triangle down on our cookie sheet, we're going to put about a quarter of a cup of apples on top of it. I'm just going to use a full tea tablespoon here. Oops, flipping apples. <laughs> it sure, oh goodness, it sure smells good too. I it love does. The I love the smell of cinnamon. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> you know, I put it in my coffee. <laughs> I know. Ugh. I get it. So then we're going to take the second triangle and dredge it through and match it up, put it on top of the first one. We're going to pinch it together. So do I need to be careful about how much stuffing I put in? You know, I think you, you just want to make sure that it's enough, but not too much that it's going to make it difficult to pinch together. Okay. I think that's really all that we have to be careful about. And again, this is the first time with us making this, so okay. So here's what mine looks like after I've made my first one and pinched it together. And so we're just gonna do that three more times with our other six <laughs> um, triangles of crescent roll. And then we're gonna bake it. So why don't we go ahead and pause and come back later okay. and show what it looks like when it's ready to go in the oven. Sounds good. All right. Welcome back. Well, we've got our four French toast pockets ready to go. We learned some things. First of all, we forgot to tell you to put the butter inside each one of the um, pieces. So we did that after the fact. Um, we also learned that the fork is the best way to crimp the edges together. So that's something to keep in mind as a tip. And also to fold the corners up. So that, um, cause there's really nothing in the corners. The corners are just kind of, um, to be sealed They're You know, they're, they're very skinny, so you really can't put any apples in there. So just fold them up and, and, and seal it. So that's fun. Um, they're ugly, but you know what? My grandpa Wapas always used to say the best tasting pies. They don't have to look pretty. There you go. <laughs> bubbles to that. Right. I'll drink bubbles to that. <laughs> Thank you, grandpa. Because it's not pretty. Exactly. So we both preheated our ovens to 350. So we're going to bake them at 350 for 11 to 15 minutes. And we'll come back and we'll see how they look and give them a taste. Sounds good. Well, welcome back. So our crescent roll French toast <laughs> took 15 minutes. It looks really, really nice. Here's how this they... I mean, they're ugly to start with, so they still look nice. They still look ugly, but they're they look delicious. So now we just need to give them a taste. Um, so drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on mine. I have Ohio maple syrup from my parents that I'm going to put on mine. Nice. Going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, pecans on top. Yep. Got some pecans. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. I don't remember if this is the one, but I put pecans inside one of mine. I did too, but I don't know which one, so it's not this one. <laughs> Me <sure>. too. <laughs> I think it was the one that I turned sideways in the pan. But we're going to give these a taste. Look how pretty that is. Wow. Take a picture before I taste it. I'm going to go on the side that has apples in it, not the corner that's just dough. <laughs> Mm. 
my goodness, look at that. I gotta take a picture of that. Oof. And I did know that I did note that I didn't fill it up with a ton of apples. Um some. Wow. That is way better than I expected. Mm. That is really mm. good. <laughs> that is. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'll drink bubbles to that. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, Lisa, we did it again. <laughs> Another amazing recipe. <clears throat> you know what? This is probably the ugliest pie I've ever made. Yeah. But it's absolutely delicious. And the cut up apples cook beautifully. Great. So yeah, we did it again. I think it turned out amazing. It turned out great. Well, thank you all for joining Cooking with Bubbles today. Um, it's been fun. Please remember to visit our YouTube page, which is cookingwithbubbles.com. Click the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you get notifications when we post new episodes. Like us on facebook.com slash cookingwithbubbles or Instagram at cookingwithbubbleskitchen, TikTok at cookingwithbubbles. So those are all of our socials. And please like us um, and subscribe and get notifications and um, feel free to engage with us whenever you can. That sounds great. And if you're interested in getting a Cooking with Bubbles apron, just send us an email. Our email address is cookingwithbubbles at yahoo.com. I want to give you all the details on how you can get your own apron. Yes. All right. Well, I think that takes care of it for today, Rodney. Yes. I'm Lisa. And I'm Rodney. Thanks for joining, Bubblers. <laughs> <laughs>